Well, tonight saw the debut show of the Mark Brunel Show, the debut of the season anyway. Like almost everything else this year, a bit different than the norm. Huh, different? <laughs> 2020. <laughs> a little bit. During an exclusive digital event that included select news for Jack's insiders and the live virtual audience, Brunel discussed the departure of Leonard Fournette. So, Cole, how did the evening go? Uh, it was great to be back talking football. We had a lot of fun. The show was streamed on newsforjacks.com as well, and it included about a dozen News for Jacks insiders, you see some of them right there, who had a chance to ask questions. As you mentioned, Leonard Fournette was a big topic of conversation. AP sports writer Mark Long told 1010XL Radio that he heard that Jaguars players were unhappy with Fournette and told the coaching staff they wanted Fournette gone. So Brunel responded to that rumor. Well, we've been talking about the culture um, for, for a few years now. Uh, things that have gone on in the in the locker room, things that we're not privy to, but you, you know, Cole, you've heard things, I've heard things, the dysfunction that has existed for, for some time now. And what does that dysfunction lead to? Well, it leads to players wanting to leave and it leads to uh, very unsuccessful football seasons. If that is the case, if what Mark Long is reporting, uh, and if it's actually, if, if that's true, what an indictment on, on Leonard Fournette. Uh, for a group of players to go into the head coach or the GM and say, hey, listen, this guy has to go. Cole, I'll be honest with you, I find it really hard to believe that it was that bad. Um, Leonard Fournette has had his issues before suspensions. He said things that perhaps a lot of people have disagreed with. But if that's true, golly, what, what a shame. And, it, and uh, I hope it's not. I hope it's more of a football thing. Um, to me, Cole, I think it was a number of reasons why Leonard Fournette's not in here anymore. And perhaps that was perhaps that was one of them. We'll have one more virtual show online next Tuesday. Then when the regular season arrives, we'll be back on our weekly show on air on CW17. The first on-air show of the year is September 15th.